A national scientific network offers the opportunity to bundle the best activities in a certain area of science and also to interact with other networks that have been established elsewhere. What do you see as the real strong points of German science right now and what opportunities do you see for interacting with other international partners in this area? Oh, well, um, I think Germany is certainly very strong in pluripotent um, stem cell research, uh, including Hans Schurler and Munster and Oliver Brussel and Bonn. And uh, they're really at the heart of uh, stem cell research that's going on internationally. And so I foresee that uh, in future disease modeling, uh, that there'll be a lot of international networking and having um, a real society or a network within Germany will help us to interface with larger societies like the International Society for Stem Cell Research. I think also that uh, Germany is strong in um, developmental biology, and I think this will come to the fore in the future, how to bring together uh, uh, basic research such as uh, developmental biology and stem cell research. And again, the networking with other societies in other countries uh, and international societies is going to happen importantly through the German stem cell network. Typically great scientific projects are usually handled between individual researchers or individual laboratories. What kind of added value do you think that a network can bring to this activity in Germany? The society brings several things. One is to expose uh, scientists to science that they might not have naturally come to on their own by going to seminars or, uh, or certain meetings. Uh, it allows you to talk to people that you might not have uh, spoken about before. But I think important, for example, in this network are these working groups where people will, uh, from different locations, will come together and talk about important aspects of uh, executing stem cell research and applying stem cell research. So it gives people the time and opportunity to talk about how to go forward in regulatory issues, how should translation really be uh, made in the stem cell field. You're in the working group, you're one of the heads of the working group for the area of somatic stem cells and development. What do you think are the major questions that this area will be addressing in the next few years? Well, I mean, I think a lot of really exciting work is going to happen in the future on uh, differentiating um, stem and progenitor cells towards complex organs. And we can only do that by knowing how development works in the first place. And so I think a lot of somatic stem cell biology will be to define how do um, organs develop normally in the first place and how do we use that knowledge to engineer uh, functional organs for uh, regenerative medicine purposes. Stem cell research unites partners from all kinds of areas. It unites basic researchers and physicians and pharmaceutical companies and even the general public. What do you think that a network will do to sort of foster these interactions and help them get together? Yes, I think that's a very important function of the network uh, because it's an organization that has uh, a name and clout and so it can bring people together who might again not have met on their own. So the companies, the clinicians, and this will be an important meeting ground for people both within Germany and from also outside Germany to start bringing together the clinical, the industrial and the basic research strands. What advice would you have for young people, physicians, or basic scientists who are interested in entering the area of stem cell research in the future? Well, I think um, for physicians, I think it's really important to go to basic science meetings and understand the science going on uh, so that they can fertilize their ideas about how to bring that to the clinic. I think for young researchers uh, to really um, keep up on the uh, on the exciting new developments and to think about how they may be used in new contexts is going to be very important.